What happened to Miss Delight? Upon entering the school to restore power to it, we are informed by Ali that he won't be able to communicate with us due to the location. And just before the audio cuts out, he tries to tell us that we're not alone and whoever's in here with us is not our friend. And as we're wandering through the halls of the school, we begin to hear a voice on the intercom, which we learn is Miss Delight. But she seems to be talking as if there are students still inside of the school. This is Miss Delight speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. However, after navigating through the school a bit more, the intercom comes on again and it's Miss Delight, claiming that she recognizes us, saying that we used to work here and she questions how we're still alive. Wait, I recognize you. Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. But then we hear Miss Delight supposedly talking to someone else in the background named Barb. But later we find out that this isn't a person at all and it's actually just the mace that she uses as her weapon. Miss Delight then warns us that we shouldn't be here looking for our co-workers and Catnap wouldn't be too pleased of that. Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. But after venturing through the school a bit more, Miss Delight grows increasingly agitated at the fact that we are still wandering around and hints at the fact that she'll be around to dispose of us herself. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. And later, when the player powers on the generator, the door bursts open and Miss Delight walks into the room, breaks the generator with her weapon, sending the battery flying across the room. And with the generator now destroyed, the halls are back to having no lights on. But at some point in the game, we learn that Miss Delight is one of the only remaining teachers who was abandoned by her co-workers due to their constant need of flesh to feast upon. And she convinces herself that if she is stared at, she'll be depicted dead which is a tactic utilized by players to restore power to the school before crushing Miss Delight in one of the gated rooms. But what exactly happened to Miss Delight that resulted in her going from a kind, lighthearted, and caring teacher to the orphans in play care to a deranged, unhinged, psychotic, mace-wielding maniac? And that was it. That's all he'd tell me. Probably because he knew I'd kill him all. <laughs> Well, to figure this out, we have to take a look at her backstory. Miss Delight was one of at least eight identical constructs who viewed each other as sisters, serving as teachers for the play care. They made sure to have the school seen as a safe place by the students and were as caring as possible towards them. And based on her cutout and intercom message, Miss Delight is a very kind and gentle teacher who speaks in a very soft and sweet voice. However, after the hour of joy, she and all of the other teachers were locked within the school by catnap. And Miss Delight could have sworn that she heard something on the other side of the door breathing, leading her to create her signature weapon that she named Barb in case anything came through. And it looks to be made from a bunch of sharpened colored pencils, which are all merged with either a rubber band ball or hardened Play-Doh. But that's just my guess. Sometime afterwards though, her sisters cut her off from the little food that they had. And as time went on, she slowly went insane and started to consider her weapon Barb as an actual person person. Barb eventually taught Miss Delight that if she stopped moving and stood very still, the others would assume that she is dead and she relied on this tactic to ambush the other teachers when they wanted to cannibalize her. So Miss Delight killed them all one by one eating their bodies to wear off the hunger she'd been dealing with for so agonizingly long. Sometime later, she found the door unlocked and discovered Catnap, who she guessed was the one who locked the door in the first place. The two then formed some sort of truce afterward, sharing the same views regarding the prototype and its plans to save everyone. Now, although it is never stated, it's implied that the reason Catnap doesn't go into the school is likely due to how disturbed he is by Miss Delight's unhinged 
deranged nature as she can go from this sweet sounding teacher to a bloodthirsty maniac. Now I know everyone is wondering the same thing about her appearance. What happened to her face to where the toy version of her smile is completely broken off and the breakage even trails off to her forehead? Well I actually have three theories on how this could have happened with my first one being that in order for Miss Delight to eat the teachers she had to break off the toy version of her face as how would she have done it without doing so? Judging from her appearance though it's clear that she got into some type of altercation with either the teachers or something else that could have been lurking inside of the school. But since we know that the teachers were trying to eat her to survive it's likely that they were the cause of the tattered clothes and possibly her broken face as well. But for my second theory I'm gonna say that Miss Delight's psychotic nature led her to break her own face with Barb as she's shown to have some type of mental instability. Now this theory is a bit unlikely simply because we never see Miss Delight indulging in any type of self-destructive behavior but I wouldn't be surprised if it was revealed that this was the cause of her face being completely mangled. But what's making me believe this just a little bit is just how the breakage looks on her face as it doesn't stop at her mouth it goes all the way to her forehead. It's also likely that she did this without Barb and she either did it with her hands or something more precise as if you look at her smile the edges on where the smile ends look a bit too symmetrical to be some type of weapon smashing against her face. Now even though the first theory is probably the most likely to have happened my third theory is that someone else broke it off and that's what led to her violent and destructive behavior. This also loops back to the other teachers as when they were attempting to cannibalize Miss Delight they probably had a weapon of their own and broke a large portion of her face or they managed to rip it off and Miss Delight managed to escape from their grasp. But one thing that would 100% confirm this theory is if we were able to look at the mangled version of the other teachers because if all of them had their faces broken off then we would know for a fact that the reason they were doing that is so they can actually eat. This is also a very unique attribute because all of the other characters have their mouths on the outer layer of their face and it's not hidden anywhere. Now, if you look at Braun, you might be able to put him in the same group as Mr. Light, but we don't have enough info on him to really confirm this. But Huggy Wuggy, Mommy Longlegs, Catnap, Bunzo Bunny, PJ Pugapillar, and the Smiling Critters don't have to have any part of their face broken to reveal what they actually need to eat. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned how Miss Delight convinced herself that if she doesn't move at all, then everyone else will perceive her as dead. But what compelled her to do this? Well, if you explore the school, there are cardboard cutouts of her character, the same with all of the other characters within Playtime Co. But I'm led to believe that Miss Delight saw that all of the students would walk by this cutout as if it didn't even exist and she started to believe that if she did the exact same thing then she would get the same results. Now it's clear that Miss Delight is downright crazy so this could be one of the reasons as to why she decided to have her movement like this. Now in case you didn't know, in the pre-release version given to content creators Miss Delight would only move when the lights were off and freeze when the lights flickered back on, but it's unknown why it was changed. Perhaps it would contradict the fact that Miss Delight would break the generator and cut off the power completely, so the light flickering wouldn't make sense. But what do you think happened to Miss Delight and what led to her psychotic behavior? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and click on this video right here.